Bruh, I was, I'm getting ready to um, get out of here, but I brought my phone in here just in case. Um, Cause I'm in my head communing with the Father. <laughs> and um, I'm listening to King Justice in his video right on time, bro. Right on time. This is a European brother, but he's definitely a star seed. He's Israel. He is Israel, bro. <laughs> like, he's Israel today. <laughs> like, right now, in this hour. Like, bro, the way the Father sees Israel these days is by the heart. Um, how you live your life. It ain't by the outer package. It ain't by skin color. It ain't by what you look like. This dude is Israel, man. Um, I've been, I've, I watched a lot of his videos, bro, and, and though, um, uh, there, there's, there's, there's things that he says that, like, you know, he's holding, he, he, um, because of the indoctrination that we've all received, okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna badmouth him or nothing like that, um, the things I'm gonna say um, I've already, you know, said in the, in the comments to him, and I said it in love, okay, um, just correction and love, and, and the brother, um, he ain't arrogant, he's not cocky, he's not doing this in and of his own power, okay, and in his own, uh, will, no, he is one of the chosen ones of the Father, he's a hidden one of the Father, of the Good Shepherd, okay, he's a hidden one. And um, he is being used in these days, right now, okay? Um, a lot of what he's bringing is more confirmation, you know, of what the Father then spoke to my spirit. Um, so, um, so sometimes he, he'll, he'll uh, say, plead the blood of Jesus, you know? And like I said, you know, I corrected him in love and said that, you know, um, the righteous don't have anything to do with bloodshed, and we would never plead blood, you know, it's not about his blood, the fact that his blood was spilled was wicked, bro, that's not something to glorify and or honor, you know, you've been deceived, you've been deceived into... <laughs> Oh my God, thinking that his blood covers your sins. It doesn't, okay? Your sins are not covered. If your sins were covered, then he would not have told you that if you don't take up your cross and follow him, then you're not worthy of him, okay? Like you... If he died for your sins, then why would he tell you to take up your cross and follow him? He said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow. We are to follow in his footsteps. He did not come here to be a human sacrifice so that you could just live your life lavishly and happy-go-lucky thinking that he paid the price for all your iniquity and all you have to do is say Jesus, all you have to do is say I'm sorry and that's that, you're going to get to float up to heaven and live for eternity. You have been deceived, okay? And we're here to help you. The, the hidden ones of the Father that has been risen in these days we're here to help you. We're here to give you the fullness of the gospel. And to pull the wool off of all the lies that we've been indoctrinated to believe in. Okay? You are not going to go to heaven, which is actually a state of mind anyway. It's not a physical place. There are many mansions, yeah, and there's many levels of the kingdom of heaven. There's there's many levels to this, okay? You 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 people want to keep it simple. You want to keep it something simplistic so that you are not held accountable. But you're going to be held accountable, okay? And the wicked know that. The elite, those at the top. You know, those that are the stream pullers, okay? 
Oh, uh, they know. Okay, they deliberately led you astray. And and they hate you. Clearly they hate you. You know, but you love them. You love them because they give you what you think is freedom. But it's not freedom. I'm here to give you freedom. I'm here to give you freedom and happiness for eternity, bro. Because that's what I desire. So I desire to free all humanity and all creation, bro. And people, people think that's arrogant. Bro, how in the hell is it arrogant that I want you to be happy and free? How? Explain to me how I'm arrogant because I'm passionate about your happiness and your freedom. How? How am I arrogant? Explain that to me. But this is the type of attitudes that I get from people. Oh, so what? You, you think you're just going to be some great one? Like, like a single mule has said. I'll say his name because the video is on my channel. Um, it's a phone conversation. And, you know, I'm not even thinking in my mind that I'm some great one. It ain't about me. The living power is great. Oh, yes, and the living power operates within me. Okay? So, he, he seen and he said something. He I guess he couldn't help but say. Okay? Um, but he said. And, um, that's, that's the type of attitudes that I get from people. Like, they, they act like they, they will really, what they're doing is projecting uh, their reality on me when they, when they, you know, act like, and they claim that I'm arrogant. And they claim that I think I know everything. You know, this is what I get from my family, like my dad and even my stepdad. You know, that this is how they, they look at me. They look at me like I'm just ignorant. And like I, ha I have no earthly idea of what I'm talking about. Don't care that I have the receipts. Like won't even let me say I have the receipts to back up everything that I've said. I flow by way of the Spirit. I don't have no notes in here. And it's very easy for me to do this. It comes eff effortlessly. Okay? Effortlessly. How do you say that? Effortlessly. 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 Whatever, bro. <laughs> but yes, it was so hard for me to rememorize and repeat. Okay, and I hated that crap, that that robotic crap, you know, that was the complete opposite uh, of who I am, you know, and yeah, I got ridiculed all my life for not, you know, being a part of this society, and why can't I get with the program, you know, what what's wrong with you, like, uh, I've always been looked at as peculiar, but I didn't even know in the Bible that it, it talked about his peculiar people. See, I line right up with these scriptures, bruh, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that till I was led by way of the Holy Spirit and shown that. See, I was a babe. I was a babe. I approached the Father as a child. Okay? And I was taught as a child. From the time of, of approaching as a child. As a baby. Okay? And I was fed. Okay? 
I was taught by way of the Holy Spirit. And and I, I grew fast. Okay? I grew very, very fast. Because I was applying His Word to my life. Okay? The things that I was learning, I was applying these things to my life. And for the first time in my life, I began to see real change in my life. Significant change. Okay? That never came with any religion. And the only religion that, you know, I'm qualified to speak on is Christianity. You know, uh, there were times in Christianity that I thought I was saved. You know? I thought I would go to heaven. And I thought it was a physical place somewhere up in the sky. <laughs> like, you know, like most people. And I'm not I'm not trying to hurt you and I'm not trying to, you know, um ridicule you or um do anything that has been done to me, bro. Okay? Uh I speak the way I do because that's my personality. Okay, but I don't mean it towards anybody in particular, you know, and I don't mean it in a way to try to hurt you, okay? I need people to know that. And this is going to be a podcast because for a while, bro, I, I, because I don't know what's going on with my life, okay? Um, I'm waiting in the water, okay? I'm literally treading on water, all right? He called me to walk on this water, okay? I'm not earning income. I have no control over financial issues in my life, okay? Because I am 100% dependent upon the living power to supply all of my wants and needs, okay? I refuse to spend my time, energy, and effort on anything of this world, okay? Um, all my time, energy, and effort is for the kingdom of righteousness and freedom and happiness for all humanity and all creation, okay? I dedicate my life to this. And I faced homelessness last month and all praises to the living power. I was able to overcome that. This month, I was facing my internet being cut. Um, <laughs> I was expecting it to be cut already, but yet, it, I, somehow I still had it. Okay? So, it, it, <laughs> it is unexplainable at this point right now. I started out communing with my father today saying that I love, I love you living power. I love you all power of love and life. The eternal power of love and life. I am in love with righteousness. I am in love with truth. I am in love with joy and peace and happiness and freedom. You know, I live this truth, bro. I am the opposite of the ways of this world. But all my life, people have been trying to force me to conform to this world. But I finally found my place, you know. Because I walked around lost my whole life. Talk about lost tribes of Israel. And then on that one show, I'll see if I can find a clip, bro. I got so many clips, man. But it's, it's very unorganized. 
But, you know, if there's ever a people lost, we're it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I was lost all my life. I was definitely a lost sheep, okay? <clears throat> but when I was led by way of the Spirit to the words of the Messiah and such profound wisdom, knowledge, and understanding Things began to make sense. The bigger picture began to be shown. And I was given the oracles of the living power. The way to happiness, to eternal happiness. Eternal salvation and joy. Ain't nobody saved right now. Okay? Ain't nobody saved right now. Some of us have the seal of the Lamb of the Most High, which I do. And I seen a lamb, um, a red lamb, in my childhood, okay? In my childhood, I seen a vision of a red lamb on the corner as I was walking with my mom. And my mom can um, verify that. I mean, she probably won't because, well... I got other videos about the issues and the problems that I've I've had all my life with family and you know particularly my mom. Um, but I love my mama, and I would never want to you know come across as slanderous or anything like that. But at the same time, I want to keep it one hundred percent real, and I keep it one hundred percent real. Okay, and people can see my soul on this channel, bro, because I don't hide it. I'm not afraid to hide who I am. You know, there's things that I won't share, and that's due to privacy issues, you know, um, and it's also due to stigmas and labels and crap like that, okay? Uh, not everything is meant to share with the general public, okay? So there's a large portion of my life, though, unfiltered, unedited, definitely on my channel. You know, um, not saying that I haven't edited videos, bro. I'm just saying that my life has not been filtered and or edited for you. Okay, so it's very raw. My channel is raw, okay, but it's real. Ain't no pretense here. And so that's why I have such adversity. That's why so many people hate me. And they want to try to project their reality onto me. Because they can't possibly phantom in their mind that there's really somebody like me on the earth. You know, th that's preposterous. How can you really not care about money? You need money to live. Well, see, that's the thing. You've been deceived into believing that you need money to live. You don't. No. The Most High gave you the breath of life. And the breath of life that you have within your body is causing you to live. Every single day that you wake up in the morning with the breath of life, you are living. The living power calls you to live. But yeah, you want to spend every waking moment of that breath earning money so that you can spend that money. On all your luxuries and or whatever the hell you choose to spend it upon. And then you want to twist things around and portray onto me that I, I just think I'm better than people. I think I'm better than you. I not one time said I'm better than anybody. And I don't portray myself like I'm better than anybody. I just don't choose to do the same as you. 
I never liked that. That always irked me. When I wake up in the morning and give praise to the living power, thanking the living power for another day, I don't want to spend that day clocking into some freaking man's time clock and freaking earning income for five, six, eight hours a day. That, that ain't what I want to spend my time and the breath of life that was given to me doing. Earning income, earning money. No, I want to put all my passion and all my essence into what the Father has called me to do. But you want to demonize that. You want to twist it and turn it all around and be like, oh no, you're trying to be a leech. You're trying to be a leech off the public. You want people to take care of you. No, I don't depend upon people. If I depended upon the people, then I would be very careful. I'd be treading very lightly on the things that I say. I would not want to uh, bruise any egos, but I'm here to shatter strong delusions and false realities. So tell me, son, how does that mix? How does that mix? Huh? How, how am I going to be here to shatter strong delusions and false realities when I care about what people think about me? Answer that. I depend upon a living power. There's a difference. See, you're so used to these charlatans out here. You know, you're used to these charlatans that's going to tell you what you want to hear. If you're on this channel, you ain't on this channel to hear what you want to hear or hear what you think you're going to hear. You may never know what the hell you're going to hear on this channel. You know? I ain't routine. You know, I'm very, I'm very, very, um, instantaneous, okay? Um, I flow by way of the spirit, okay? I am a free spirit. That means I can't stand being tied down to some schedule, okay? That's the opposite of who I am, all right? But you, you want to twist it around and make it like, Oh, no, you, like I said, th this is what they do. They project their reality onto me to try to cover me so that they don't have to truly see who I really am. <sighs> Bruh, I'm different, okay? I'm different. And no, I don't seek the riches of this world. No, I don't seek fame and honor and glory of men. And it's proven on my channel. And see, that's something that is very rare. But a lot of people have been sleeping on my channel. And keep it real. You've been sleeping on my channel so you don't know these things. You don't know that I've been bringing this word by the way of the Spirit since this channel started. Okay? And, um... Uh, bruh... I don't know how, how, how any other way to say it, okay? I don't know any other way to say, you know, that I've been walking in love. And um, you can see it because my life is on my channel. You can see how when I took in a homeless person, um, I think it was either June or July um, of last year, 2022. Okay, so last year um, I took in a homeless person for seven days, okay, and it was the most hell on earth for me, but I was always cordial to this person, always kind to this person, to the point to where this person complimented me about my hospitality skills, okay, so I was very loving towards this person, um, but come to find out this person had lied about everything. So on the seventh day, they had to go because they weren't really homeless. Um, well, they, they, they didn't have to. Well, she was homeless, but she didn't have to be. Okay? She didn't have to be. She was just out there conning people, scamming people, you know, taking advantage of people. 
But, you know, despite all that, I didn't retaliate against her other than told her that she needs to go to the facility so that she can have shelter and she can have her money and she's not on the street. And, you know, told her that it's not safe for you to be on the street, you know, and tried to counsel her a little bit more and still was loving towards her, okay? Um, so anyway, a year later, I'm facing eviction, okay, because I have been instructed <clears throat> to focus on doing the work that was given unto me um, by the living power, um, do what was put within me to do and focus upon that, don't worry about earning income, this, this was around, um, let me see, when the hell was that? Uh, when the hell, I had to look and see when exactly I took her in, bro. Because I don't remember now, because I know uh, this time last year, um, you know what? I don't think I was. Yeah, I think it was coinciding around the same time, bro. All of this was happening at the same time that the shifts dried up. I had no shifts available in order to clock in and work. When I took her in, I had already been instructed in my spirit to focus on doing the work that had been given to me. And I was being diligent in that, okay? So all while she was here, I was working on my projects, you know, getting them uploaded to YouTube and whatnot. I remember I, I was working on the series, Why Are We Here, okay? Why Are We Here? That was the series that I was working on. At the very same time, I encountered this lady and took her in. Okay, and I got the whole incident, all that, all the things that happened um, with her, all of that's on my channel about a year ago. Um, uh, you can just gotta scroll it, okay? Because they took away the search button, you know, off my channel, which is really annoying. But anyway, bro, I said all of that to say that um, I didn't rise myself up. I didn't raise myself up, okay? Um, all my life people claim that I was arrogant and they try to put me down they try to keep me down okay because the father made me bold okay so because the father made me bold and outspoken um, and, and you know I, he made me with he, he created me with the ability to see certain things even though I was sleeping so I didn't have understanding of the things that I was seeing, but I seen, okay? So because of those three combinations, okay, seeing things, boldness, um, forthcoming, okay, um, honest, you know, um, authentic, well, you know, these, these are qualities that I've always had within me. So people... Um, would treat me as if I was nothing. And they would treat me as if I was in insignificant and the things that I say as if it doesn't matter, okay? This is how I've been treated my whole life by pretty much everybody, okay? Um, even my family, especially my family. This has been done a lot in my family. And I just come to recently find out that I've been surrounded by narcissistic family members. You know, I didn't know this. I didn't know I was born into a narcissistic family, okay? But my family is very superficial and narcissistic, okay? They're all about this system and making money and making a living for yourself. Living the American dream to the best of your ability, you know? But I never aspire to live the American dream. Okay, I could care less about the American dream because the American dream was American nightmare to me. Okay, all my life I was not free. I wasn't free to live the American dream. I was living a nightmare. Okay, so it was not the same. All right, it was not the same. It was not the same for me and most of you Europeans and all you nations that's not black. Okay, let's, let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it real, okay? All you nations that's not, quote, black here in America. Because it's just an American thing. All right? When you go to any other country, 
you know, um, they don't call each other black and white, <laughs> you know, they refer to themselves by who they really are, okay, the people that they come from. Right? They they don't cla they 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 know that black and white is a classification. Okay, so that's only done here in America. And the reason why we're classified as black is because we're the Israelites, okay? We're Israel, we're true Israel, okay? So I'm just bruh And then there's been a lot of games played, okay? Surface level black people here in the America is the biblical Israelites. We're the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? We're the ones that came from the lineage of the Messiah. Who you say that you serve, white people? Here in America? The only place where you call yourselves white people? You're so patriotic, right? You're so patriotic. You care about your country. But if you truly cared about your country, and if you really care about your well-being in the coming future, I suggest you humble yourself. Okay? Because the history that we were taught in school is a fabrication. And you're holding on to that. You're holding on to that regurgitation, regurgitating what you were taught to believe, okay? They forced you to believe their so-called facts, their so-called history, and all of these things. They forced you to memorize that and repeat it back to them to make sure that you were thoroughly programmed, okay? And many of you are sticking to that. You want to hold tight to that. You don't even want to give ear to hear opposition to that. You know? But now is the time. We're in the days where the Father said that he was going to raise up his people. Okay? And, and, and he had already done this. Alright? There's more to this prophecy. He said every ear is going to hear this truth. Everybody is going to hear it. Everybody is going to have the opportunity to accept the fullness of the gospel or reject it. Okay? If you choose to only hold on to what you've been taught to believe, then you are in essence rejecting the fullness of the gospel. Just understand what position you're taking because it's very critical, okay? You need to understand that there's only two choices, okay? Good and evil, okay? On the good side, the living power has risen up his hidden ones. He's given us his oracles. We have the fullness of the gospel. And we have been instructed in these days to give to you the fullness of the gospel. That's why we're here. Okay? That's why I'm here. Okay? Now, you have every right in your free agency to reject what the Father Mother, the living power, is doing. You can reject that and hold on to your dogmatic belief systems. Hold on to your Christianity. Hold on to your white supremacy. You know? See, with the fullness of the gospel comes the truth, people. Okay? You cannot be spared and or eventually saved unless you <sighs> repent okay you have to repent all right for many things that you're doing um blatantly against the living power okay and and these are things that you won't have an excuse for because it's in your bible okay 
It's in your Bible. Now, the things that you are oblivious to, um, it, it doesn't matter if you're oblivious to the things that I'm telling you is in your Bible that you're blatantly doing. All right? Like following traditions of men, listening to men, obeying men, and ignoring the leading of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Blindly believing every written word in the pages of that book. Okay? To justify what you want to do. Okay? Justify eating dead bodies and, and crap like that. Okay? Because you can read in them scriptures, Genesis 1, 29 through 30, the original diet that he gave and he said it was so. Okay? So you people out there trying to twist his word all around to follow your dogmatic belief systems and what you want to do in your carnal ass flesh. All you brews out there treating the daughters of Zion like trash. You, you're you not going to be saved unless you repent. So you need to understand these things, okay? You, you if, if, if Whether you claim you knew it or not, you're still going to be judged for that, okay? All you males putting your hands on females and vice versa... All you people putting your hands on one another, you know, you're, you're going to be judged for that because it's in your scriptures that you say you read, you know, it, it tells you to walk in love. You, uh, these are things that you're going to be judged on, whether you believe it or not, whether you know it or not, he is going to judge you based upon how you live your life. So it is very imperative that you understand these oracles of the living power. And I am passionate about this because I have applied these things to my life and I've seen the fruit thereof. Okay? So there's no denying this. Alright? It's very evidently crystal clear. And like I said, you have every right to reject it. Okay? But just, I need you to understand when you reject the oracles of the living power to hold on to your dogmatic belief systems, your religion, and all of these things you've been taught to believe all your life, you're choosing Lucifer. Okay? You're choosing the adversary. Therefore, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? You're going to destroy yourselves. Because it ain't the living power that's going to destroy you. We are to pity you. Okay? I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at nobody that don't want to listen to me, okay? I ain't mad at nobody that don't want to sow a seed unto me. Those that do, I know will be blessed, okay? Now, that being said, you can look on my channel. You can investigate me. You can research me. You can see how I ain't no charlatan. I ain't got nothing to freaking hide, okay? Nothing significant to hide. My intentions are pure. And the eternal living power knows it, okay? Because he searches the heart. And his eyes are brighter than 10,000 suns, beholding the atrocities and the iniquities of all the children of men upon earth, okay? So you think you can hide from the Most High? You really think you can hide from the living power? You you ain't you ain't fooling nobody. See, everything that's done in the dark shall be brought to the light. And the living power establishes his people in the time that he sees fit, okay? And the hidden ones of the of the living power, we're humble enough to wait our turn, okay? Like I I ain't you know trying to force my way or bombard my way, you know, through. Like, I had, there are several people, okay, I don't really want to say the names, um, but one was prominent, somebody that I really looked up to, I really looked up to this person, and um, I learned a lot from this person, okay, but, um, this person a long time ago said that they were going to have me on their on their talk show, on their radio show, and, um, just, it never happened, <clears throat> they never contacted me about it, you know, um, I kind of looked forward to it a little bit, you know, um, but it, it was around the time, 
um, bruh, it's like all hell broke loose, at, like right after really starting my channel, it's like I've been under spiritual attack the entire freaking time. You know, it's like there's been all kinds of forces of darkness to try to hold me back and to try to stop me uh, or, or try to stop the light um, from shining, okay? Um, but anyway, so like I said, it never happened. And then recently there was another brother that literally had reached out to me asking, you know, if I if I would be okay with coming on his show. And I said, yeah. And at that time, I said, the sooner the better, because I don't know how, how much longer I'm going to be here, you know. And um, just, he never said anything else about it, you know. So, <laughs> I feel like, you know, it's, it's okay. I'm, and I'm not seeking after it. You know, see, if I cared about clout and honor of men and all of these things, you know, I would have been hounding them. I would have been like, yeah, hey, you, you said you were going to have me on your show. When you going to have me on your show? I would have been like, you know, all like, you know, trying to force it onto them, you know. But no, they didn't reach out, so neither did I. <laughs> you know, I didn't say nothing else about it. You know, I feel like, you know, when they want me to have, when they want to have me on their show, they will, okay? So, all you people that try to call me arrogant, all you people that try to put your projection on me that I think I know everything and I think I'm better than people and all of these things. Bro, I'm the most humble person, okay? I have been... I've had to be all my life. I was forced to be, okay? How could I be exalted in pride and arrogance when everybody all around me was putting me down and rejecting me all my life? I am the persecuted, the rejected, the afflicted, the castaway, the nobody, the loser, okay? The, the black sheep of my family, the one that everybody looks down upon, okay? How in the hell can I possibly be, you, you, like, oh my God, I am not arrogant. You call me arrogant because of the way that I come across when I bring this truth, okay? Because it ain't me. That's by way of the spirit. So it's the spirit that you're calling arrogant, all right? It ain't me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and... The reason why you think it's arrogant is because of that boldness that comes by way of the spirit. You know, that authority. Okay? That's what you're taking as arrogance. But that's because it's the absolute truth. And this truth is going to come with a sledgehammer. It's going to come with authority and with boldness, especially in these days. Okay? Because we're at the end. All right? We're the witnesses, all right, the other day. Oh, my God, it just got brought up in my spirit. It just got brought up in my spirit. Oh, my gosh, he just quickened it within me. <laughs> the other day, I forget which day, bro. I think it might have been Friday. I was watching Tribulation Force, right? The movie Tribulation Force. <laughs> And you know, you know how they got everything happening over there in that created state of Israel and so-called Jerusalem over there in the Middle East, right? And they got the two witnesses <laughs> literally breathing fire from their mouth, okay? And these, these are pale skin people, okay? These are Europeans, all right? Like, they, they have boasted against the natural branches for centuries, bro. For centuries, they've done this. This is why you Europeans just think it's completely preposterous that we're the people of the book. You think it's completely preposterous. I already say that word, preposterous. That's preposterous. <laughs> like, you people cannot possibly be the people of the... You are not the Israelites. You're black. You're black people. We brought you from the jungles in Africa. <laughs> You were swinging on trees, and we we civilized you. See all of these lies you want to hold on to. We're the ones that civilized you people, okay? And that's the blatant truth. I didn't say that to hurt your feelings, okay? I have it in the records, okay? I'm not showing you right now. This is going to be a podcast because, like I said, you know, I'm not sure what's going on. 
with my life right now. <laughs> I'm walking on water, okay? I have no income, all right? So I am 100% dependent upon a living power to supply all my needs, okay? So that I can be free, so that I can be unshackled to do what I've been called to do, okay? And oh my God, all hell cannot... <sighs> All, all hell is about to be busted open, bro. Like, like you. Once I am free, once I'm, once I am not bound, once I'm unlimited, okay. Once I don't have to worry about paying a freaking internet bill and rent, okay. Lord have mercy upon the lies on this earth. Lord, have mercy upon the deceptions that has been blanketing this earth for centuries. Lord, have mercy. Because it's about to blow the hell up. Okay? So, once the Father really sets me free, Satan better look out, bro. And this is exactly what we're on the verge of. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, if you picture a slingshot, okay? Picture a slingshot, and it's all, and all of these many years, all of their atrocities, it's been slingshot, it's, it's been uh, coming back, coming back, coming back, and, you know, they ain't, they ain't got to really be judged of anything. They ain't never restored his people, what they did to us right here in our land in 1492 and since, okay, this is the year 2023, supposedly, okay, so all of this time, they ain't never restored us. They ain't never made good on, you know, the things that they promised us, the treaties that they made with us, and they broke, okay, over and over and over repeatedly, which is also within Scripture that they took out, okay? So this slingshot, just steady, going back, going back, going back, going back, going back, going back, going back. And now he done woke up his people in the land of our captivity, and we're on the back of this slingshot. We're on the back of this slingshot. And now it's about to be released, bro. It's about to be released. And can you imagine? Just picture that slingshot being released. And letting us go, bro. Letting us go. Let us loose, bro. Let us at the kingdom of darkness, bro. Because we've been beat down by the kingdom of darkness our entire life. And the Father gave me the eyes to see it. But I had no understanding until he woke me up in the land of my captivity. Okay? So he gave me his oracles along with all this understanding of everything that I went through in my life. And why I am the way that I am. And that... Everything that I am was put there within me by him. And that it was everything, like the things that people were trying to change within me was actually what came from him. They were trying to beat out the, the pureness. They were trying to beat out the authenticity. They were trying to beat out my natural personality. And the Father let me know that all of it came from Him. Who I am came from Him. Where this world and Christianity has always made me feel like I was such an abomination against the Father. I was like my natural personality is an abomination. While they're committing all kinds of abominations. You know, they're out here having women suck on their private parts. And if you don't think that that's an abomination, you've been deluded. Okay? You, if you don't think it's an abomination to have your head between the legs of another person, you, you've been deluded. If you don't think that it's an abomination to be licking someone's asshole, you've been deeply Deceived, okay? But no, you want to call me an abomination simply because my natural personality doesn't line up with a body 
that I was born in. You want to demonize me, stigmatize me, call me evil, try to pray over me, try to pray out the demons that's in me. All my life they didn't lay hands on me trying to pray out the spirit of masculinity. And it never worked. And then they made they, they they gaslighted me, bro. Because they had me believing that there was really something wrong with me. But the father told me that I am free to be me and that there ain't nothing wrong with me. That I was chosen by him from the beginning, and that's why my life has been hell. Because I, I was a star seed, okay? I ain't from here. My spirit was not from here, okay? My spirit ain't from here, all right? I was sent here. I was sent into this body to shatter strong delusions and false realities, okay? But I had no understanding of that all my life. I had no idea why I was here, okay? But I had to overcome all of these things to be able to shatter strong delusions and false realities. See, it had to happen within myself first. Uh, there was a lot of strong delusions that were shattered. Okay? There were, there were many times that my whole reality was shattered. Okay? My whole reality and everything that I thought I knew, you know, shattered repeatedly. Okay? So, now I'm here to help others, all right? So, yes, I am here to shatter strong delusions and false realities. That's going to be the name of this. I am here to shatter strong delusions and false realities, okay? And that came to me by way of the Spirit, okay? I didn't just sit down and try to brainstorm something to say, like my handle or something, you know, just like Dane Calloway, he probably didn't brainstorm his neither. It probably just came to him. I'm just here to make you think, you know, I love it. But this, that we're, see, we're the ones that the Father is using. Now, you know, there's a lot of things that I agree with Dane Calloway about, but there's also some things that I disagree, okay? Um, because... You know, um, I love the brother, so I ain't trying to slander the brother, but I, the only thing that I'll say is that, you know, I, I, I don't want to be as hottie, okay? I'm not trying to be hottie like that, all right? And, 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 you know, in a way, I understand why, you know, he does it, but um, I, I, I'm just different, okay? I'm different. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, I know it may seem like I come across as that, but in my heart, I'm not, okay? I don't see myself above nobody. I don't see myself better than anybody. So, um, that being said, bro, I got to go to the store, get some water. It really sucks that I only have $20 left on my freaking snap card. And, um, I don't really have any food, <laughs> so I really need to go to the, um, grocery store to get food. I really need to go to Walmart, you know, to get a few things. And, hell, you know, since I'm going up there to the freaking, I have to pass the bus stop anyway, um, I, I feel like I might as well get a drug and an herb and, and it just, life is... Not, I mean, I love the fact that I woke up with the internet, you know, but, um, you know, normally I have herbs that I can roll up and take with me, take a joint with me, you know, to go to the store. And, but, um, and, and I don't, only have $20 and I'm out of water. So, I may have to get this, you know, purified water, which I really don't like getting, because it's not good for my body, you know. I feel like I might as well just drink tap water if I freaking get that crap, you know. But I really don't want to drink tap water. Um, this is bread. 
Uh, I need. I, I normally get the Ozark of spring water, but they charge so much here at the hood store. And no people don't have any other option to get their freaking water. You know, they want to charge freaking damn near nine dollars a freaking case of water. And I need two of them, you know, and that that may not even last me till the freaking tenth, you know. I need I need at least forty eight bottles of water, bro. And I don't and like if I get that I won't be able to get no food. If I get the Ozerka. So Right now I'm facing that, bro. It's always some kind of mountain that I'm facing. But it's on my spirit to just go ahead and get the Ozerka and, you know, make do with what I have. You know, if I have to go without food for a little bit, go without food, bro. Because I, I really don't want that purified. You can tell that, that, that the shit is heavily fluorinated and poisoned, okay? Like, you can look at it and tell, like, when I boil... Like, it, it, it has bubbles all in it, you know? It looks like freaking soda pop. Like, how in the hell does water look like soda, bro? Like, where, what's, all, what's with all the bubbles, okay? That's weird to me. So, I really don't want to get that water. I thought about getting it so that I can at least get, you know, a thing of mushrooms and, you know, some garden crumbles and, you know, another thing of pasta sauce. Um, to try to make do till the tent, you know, but I might just, I just pray fast, bro, because I really just have the water. If I fast and, you know, I need more water, like, if I'm not eating anything, then that means I'll, I don't know, bro. I have no idea what the hell to do, but trust the Father. I trust the Father in all things, you know. Shalom.